Welcome to the podcast, Prophecy Insights with Bro Steph. Today is September 2nd, 2016. The title of today's podcast is General Prophecy Update. So we're just going to do a general update today. And I want to brief you on some information from my sources that's come across my desk that I think is very interesting and um, I think you need to really know about uh, these particular issues. Okay, number one, if you go to my group in Facebook, which is facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash bro Steph, uh, and you join that group, you'll be able to see um, a video that I posted that Avi Lipkin did. Uh, Avi is Jewish. He has dual citizenship in Israel and the United States. And he did something uh, quite remarkable over the last two years. He felt like God wanted him to create a new party in the Israeli political system, the Knesset. It's called the Bible Block Party. Now, Avi is a friend to Christians, to Messianic Jews, and, of course, to the Jewish people. And from Avi's perspective, he sees that things are going to get so bad in the United States of America that God's going to use the trouble here to start moving the North American Jews and Christians over to Israel. Well, what Avi wanted to do is create a party that would support that migration and support Jews and Christians in the land of Israel. Um, So it took him about two years to get the signatures required, but he is now a legitimate political party, and uh, he'll be able to run for the Knesset and have a seat on the Knesset should he win. And it looks like that probably is going to happen. Well, I tell you that to say this. Uh, the video Avi did that I put in our group is very interesting. He kind of did an overview of what's going on in Israel, the Middle East, Saudi Arabia, um, Iran, and and the different countries in the Middle East. He, he brought up something that really got my attention. And that is this issue over the Aswan Dam. The Aswan Dam that uh, runs uh, th- through and into Egypt. If that dam got hit with a nuclear bomb, it would flood Egypt, and then it would uh, flood Egypt with polluted water. And over 90 million people in Egypt would have to run to higher ground, and they wouldn't be able to return to their, their homes, to their cities. They would lose everything, and they would have to be relocated somewhere. And so Avi talks about this, and I thought that's a very interesting concept. I knew of the Aswan Dam, and I know it's a very big dam. And if that breaks, you know, Egypt just gets, their population centers get totally wiped out. But I never thought um, that a country would actually bomb that dam. Um, I thought maybe ISIS might do it, but... That wasn't a real big possibility at the time. Well, Avi's wife is a interpreter, and she interprets many different dialects in the Arab language, and she picked up for is the Israeli defense systems. She picked up a a conversation where Iran is considering potentially nuking the Aswan Dam if Egypt doesn't do what Iran wants them to do. And that should send shivers down all of our spines. Because if that happened, the Egyptian people would have to be relocated somewhere, and it would probably end up being the United States. So Avi's whole premise 
was that as countries in the Middle East start to disintegrate, the people are going to have to go somewhere. And he feels like God's going to send the Muslim populations into the United States. And this goes into big detail. I, I don't have the time here to, to do all of it. I'd recommend you watch his video. But what would end up happening, we'd be overrun by Muslim populations and we would either have to uh, compromise with those Muslim populations, much like England has had to do, and Brussels. Uh, otherwise, we're liable to have killings of Christians and Jews, specifically here in the United States. So very very interesting information uh, provided by Avi. Um, and then something else I want to draw to your attention. Can Israel become a wartime power? A commission of former Israeli American Navy admirals and policymakers is calling for the Jewish state to take a far greater role in securing and administering the Eastern Mediterranean so the U.S. doesn't have to. And as the U.S. pulls away from the Middle East and becomes more uh, isolationists uh, and America stops watching the sea lanes that, uh, uh, that deliver goods and services to people all over the world, as we pull away from that, it's liable to create a vacuum. And so uh, this whole think tank talked about the problems that this kind of behavior that the United States is doing now, the retreat we're doing, the negative ramifications that could have on the entire world. I'm going to post this headline. It's a very good, very well-written article. I'm going to post it to this audio blog and do my regular blog at brosteff.org. Another uh, good uh, article that I need to bring to your attention, U.S. military's worst nightmare, a war with Russia and China at the same time. I'm going to post this headline that you need to be aware of as well. What these are saying, these articles, is as the U.S. isolates itself and goes away and allows Russia, Iran, and Turkey and other countries in the Middle East to gain power and control, including Saudi Arabia. Uh, as we leave, it creates this huge vacuum. Um, and the minds, the people that are in the know are really concerned that this could potentially end up erupting into major conflict. Uh, also, the problem with the South Asian seas where China is now trying to take control of the South Asian seas, which would also mean they would have control of oil going in and out of that area. Uh, the smart people in the know are worried that Russia and China could potentially gang up on the United States. And uh, there, there could be possibly down the road be a war where we'd have to fight them both off. And where we're at in our military right now, it's been so decimated that uh, we would not be able to survive that kind of battle uh, because we just don't have the equipment. Uh, we've got battleships that are in harbor that aren't operational anymore. Uh, because we're just not doing what's necessary to beef up our military. So this is the update, uh, uh, just a little summary, that things that I think you needed to be aware of. I'm going to post the articles inside of the audio report and to my blog at brostuff.org. I uh, want to remind you, if you don't know the Lord, with everything going on around us, now is the time for you to start your relationship with Jesus Christ. Don't put it off because the window is closing. And remember to keep looking up. Jesus is coming back soon. Live out your faith. Talk to you again real soon.